pour it and then yesterday which was the four, uh, first 24 hours it was all the way up here and then today is just like that it didn't hello hello my awesome uh, my awesome people Kujani, hola, bonjour, ekare, kase, kale. Wherever you are watching me from, today I'm going to be showing you how I make this ginger beer at home. So the ingredients we're going to need is half cup of white sugar, one fresh ginger root, dry yeast, and two bottled water. So um, as you can see, I'm slicing the ginger. So you can either slice the ginger or grate it. So when I get a lemon and slice it into half, so I'm going to pour my ginger in the in the plate. Then squeeze the lemons inside it. And let it um you know like mix together with the ginger. So I'm going to get a bottle. You can use any bottle you have at all. As long as it's thick enough to hold the gas, any bottle will do the job. So I'm going to pour two bottle water in the in the big bottle. Make sure to use a funnel. If you don't have a funnel, you can try to work your way out and you know just try to manage without me spilling the water. So I forgot to, you know, I'm you can see I pour the water all the way up. So don't make that mistake. Make sure you leave a lot of room for the gas in the bottle. So I'm going to pour my sugar, half cup of sugar. Then pour my um i'm going to pour my ginger you know ginger with the lemon i'm going to pour it in the water then add my dry yeast half cup of half tablespoon of dry yeast Then I'm going to cover it and shake all the ingredients together and store in a room temperature for 48 hours. But listen and listen very carefully. You have to check it after the first 24 hours of storing it in room temperature. This is what I got after 24 hours. The gas is all the way up. I have to make I have to share the water in another bottle because the bottle is, will not be able to contain the gas. So I pour, I divide it in another small bottle. So that the gas can have some a, lit, a lot of space then after 48 hours the gas did not really go up anymore but the first 28 hours uh, the first 24 hours the gas did go up so you can tell you should be able to tell from the 24 hours to 48 hours difference so it didn't really go up after 48 hours but after the 24 hours the gas did go up so this is what i got after 24 hours and also 48 hours is still the same level of gas and we're going to taste our ginger beer so this is how it looks like i shake it together to make sure i got everything mixed up And I'm going to taste it. But this ginger tastes so good. I can't believe I made this. I did a very great job. So it tastes, yeah, it, it has a taste of um, lemon, lemonade, sweet and sour taste. So, I mean, I really love it. And it turns out so well. This is my first time making ginger beer. And I think I'm going to start making it often because I really love it and the way it turns out so if you don't have ginger in your, in your in your kitchen make sure you get ginger because ginger is very good you know it's anti-inflammatory it helps reduce stress it helps also um it has a lot of health benefits it helps to uh it helps to fight um, nausea and especially during cold season you don't want to miss ginger in your refrigerator so make sure you get some ginger and make you some ginger beer okay so give me a rating down below in the comment section is it a five six seven whatever you give me i'm going to willingly accept it okay so thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video
Peace and blessings to you all.